Good morning, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you 10 ways how you can keep on top of the home at any times. We've had people visiting our home unexpectedly, but they are always like, it's so neat in here, it's so tidy, how do you do it? Um, so today I'm going to share you our little tiny ways and secrets how we keep the, uh, the house tidy at all times. Keeping a tidy home starts for me in the bedroom. Um, when I go to bed in the evening, I always take off my sweatpants or pajamas uh, because I like to sleep only in a t-shirt. But instead of throwing my clothes on the floor, uh, I put them straight away. So that either means that I will fold them and put them in our closet or I'll put them in the little laundry basket that we have in our dressing room. Um, so tip number one. Put the clothes that you're wearing straight away. This isn't just for going to bed, but this is also when I come back from home uh, or this is also when I come back from work and I have to take off my work clothes. I put them straight away into the closet. Um, that way it isn't lying around and it's just put away nicely and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Second tip as well for the bedroom. This is one that you will have heard many times before, but it truly works, is making the bed every morning. A thing that I'm quite guilty of that I didn't used to do, but it bugs my boyfriend a lot. And he was like, you never make the bed. How can you not make the bed and just leave the home? Like, I was like, I don't know. I'm in a hurry. I don't have time for that. But now I do it. And when I don't, it feels like oh. we get out of bed in the morning. I will just make the bed straight away. It doesn't, it, it doesn't take long at all. You can think like, oh, I don't have time for this. It only costs you like a minute, maybe or two. So when you get out of bed, make the bed straight away and it just feels so much nicer, so much tidier. And when in the afternoon or evening when you come back from work or wherever you were going, you go into your bedroom and it's just all tidy and it makes the world of a difference. Tip number three is about our closet, our dressing room. The way to keep it really tidy for me is to use all the same hangers. It really, really annoys me when people have all kinds of sizes, colors, different hangers. It looks very messy in my opinion and when you have all the same hangers it's just it, it looks so much neater. A lot of people are a fan, big fan of the velvet hangers. Personally I think they're quite flimsy. They're not all the same quality or the best quality. I have wooden hangers. They can be a little bit more slippery. I never have issues with it but I just think they look very rustic and I I just love the look of them. So I bought them for both me and my boyfriend and um, yeah, I love it. Every time I look at my wardrobe, it just looks neat and organized and it's amazing. So tip number four, I already touched on this in the very first tip, but it is to put a laundry basket in your dressing room or in your bedroom, wherever. But what this does, um, we don't have the chair, we don't have a, a clothing rack or anything. There's no place for us to throw the clothes and just leave them, which is great. Um, could be on the floor, but that's not my vibe. So what I did, I put a little laundry basket in our dressing room. So if I have any clothes that are dirty, that I don't want to hang back in the closet, but I also feel a little bit too lazy to go up to the attic and put it in the real laundry basket, I just put it in the little basket in the dressing room. And not just throwing it around. Uh, it looks a lot neater and then also when you go to do your laundry you can just take the basket upstairs and then sort it out over there. For me it makes a world of a difference. It feels so much less messy and um, yeah, works great for us. Into our cabinets for tip number five and that is to use organizers for your drawers. My boyfriend doesn't do this and I have bought some organizers I think last week and I'm so happy about it. I'm not sure why I didn't do it before. I already have organizers for my kitchen, for my bathroom. I use them in my closet and keep everything together and also I think you can store more stuff because you can pile a little bit on top. So in my nightstand cabinet, I have a organizer for my makeup, for my skincare, and then also some other little bits in the bathroom. We can keep um, his and my stuff apart. So I have a little basket where my hair stuff, everything is in and his stuff to shave and deodorant, stuff like that. Cabinet in every door. Dr <sighs> if you have any drawers or cabinets that just feel cluttered and messy or you're you're feeling overwhelmed, buy organizers, 
measure which one are fitting the best and then put your stuff in there and it makes a huge huge difference i can highly recommend it to anyone it's great speaking about the bathroom that takes me into tip number six and that is to match up your towels and washcloths this makes a big difference when people have all the colors all the sizes all the variations it can look very messy and also because it's different sizes and stuff you can't fold it neatly and put it nicely away so we have matching towels uh, also these ones give a little bit of color and a fun aspect to our bathroom because it's quite modern and quite colorless <laughs> so um, these towels really ampen it up it's great number seven is called i have to google this first let me hold on take your shower immediately take down your faucets with your towel so what i do i get out of the shower i put the towel on my head dry it off a little bit and then when I'm dry, I go back in the shower, then take your towel and immediately just take off the faucet. Um, that way you don't get any watermarks or something on it and it looks shiny straight away. This is something my parents taught me when I was still living at home and it really annoyed them when I didn't do it. So I never got it, but now that I have my own bathroom and I can see how dirty it can get and how difficult it is to get the caulk or what it's called off. Um, I always do this. So I also have this little tool to uh, wipe down the walls and this little glass panel that we have. And then after that, I take my tile and I go over all the stainless steel stuff. So it's all nice and shiny. So this is my least favorite job to do. I honestly can say, and I have to be honest, I should do this a lot more often. But it is to, is to clean your mirrors at least once a week. Mirrors can get super dirty and I think it just looks very shabby when it does. It's a little a bit messy, a little bit dirty. So if you have a cleaning day or a cleaning moment, at least do your mirrors. It's my preferred way is to take a microfiber cloth. So first I take down the dust because obviously there's dust on the mirrors. Take that down first. Then I use a wet cloth. Uh, I go over it to remove any stains or stuff that's on it, um, wipe it down. Then I use either a um, glass spray or something, a, a glass cleaner. Or what I've been using lately as well was a bucket with um, ammonia. And that also really gives a nice shine and polishes it. So use whatever you like, but take it down with a, either a flat weave microfiber cloth or a tea towel, something that has a flat weave and is clean. And um, do that once a week. You can just stay on top of it. It always looks clean and it makes um, a big impact on how the house looks because right now mine are very dirty and it, it looks really crappy. It's not a good look. <laughs> Number nine, wipe as you go. This goes for a lot of things. Um, when I've had my breakfast in the morning, I take my placemat, I put the little crumbs and stuff that's on it um, in my trash can so it's not all on the floor. And then I take a little wet cloth and I take down our table immediately. It always looks clean. It's a tiny, tiny effort, but it always looks clean and nice and ready to sit on. This is also something I like to do when I'm cooking. This is something my dad taught me. When you're cooking, um, just put the things away as you're going. So don't make a big fat mess. And then afterwards you have to clean up all this stuff. I have the little plastic bag. I put it in the container straight away. When I've used the oil in the pan, the oil goes back into the cabinet. Um, don't let it all pile up. Also with pots and pans, um, I'm not the best at this either, but just clean them after you have had your dinner. Don't let it sit there and, and just let it get smelly and dirty and until the next day. Wherever you go, if you have made a mess, clean it up straight away and don't let it pile on because that way you will go crazy, crazy. You will have so much to do and it will be a lot of stress. That's definitely not worth it. So, oh, tip number 10. I don't mind vacuum, vacuuming, maybe you do, but I will tell you, you have to do this every three, three to four days, maybe even two to three. Um, I have long hair, it sheds like crazy. I feel like a little bit of a dog. The dust just collects like nothing else. Uh, after a few days, it's definitely a little bit more dirty on our floors and you can feel it. If you walk on barefoot, 
you can feel all the little crumbs and hairs and stuff and it grosses me out. So what we do, um, I think it's easier because we both don't mind to vacuum, but we do this every few days and that way the floor always just looks neat, especially in the kitchen, dirt and stuff and crumbs pile up there really quickly. So I like to make sure that I vacuum at least two times a week, maybe even three. And that way our floors are looking nice and fresh and um, that way when someone comes by unexpectedly we're not like oh make sure you vacuum if you don't have places where it should go make places where it should go this is also a big one um, so maybe this is bonus tip 11 but everything should have a place if it doesn't have a place it has nowhere to go and it will lie around so make a special place for something is it a little basket or a place in the cupboard doesn't matter but Everything has a place to go. I don't care if it's a little basket for random stuff. We have one and you need one. If you don't have one, it makes a world of a difference. Maybe this sounds like a lot of work to you, but it really isn't. They're all tiny little efforts and tasks that you can do under a few minutes. Um, you can do them while you're already going, you know. Um, it's not like you have to do this big cleaning round. Just do things that you can do straight away and um, it will make a world of a difference, trust me on it. So um, I hope this video was helpful and that maybe you will pick up, some, pick up some tips from this. Sometimes your home can feel like a big mess, but it really doesn't have to be, trust me. Yeah, if you like the organizing and cleaning videos, let me know. Um, I would love to help people who are feeling so overwhelmed with their home and are like, oh, it's such a mess and I don't know how to fix it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a little like, comment and subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel. Let me know what are your little cleaning habits or do you not have any? Are you a super messy person or are you quite tidy as well? I would love to know. Um, so yes, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you the next time. Have a nice day. Bye.